Good afternoon and welcome to another American Wireless Alarm how-to video. Today we're going to be covering the downloading and installation of the NVMS 7000 on a PC or Mac. To get started, first thing we're going to do is uh, download the software. To do that, we're going to go to the website www.ltsecurityinc.com From there, I'm going to go onto the support tab, click onto the download, and I'm going to go to client software. And here it is, NVMS 7000. They offer this both in the Windows version and the Mac version. I'm using a Windows, clicking on that, and I am going to go ahead and open. Now that I have downloaded, I am going to click on the NVMS 7000 here. Extract all. I'm going to allow this. And just finishing the install. This will take a few moments. It is a large program. This is normal. So be patient. <clears throat> and magically it just starts going. Okay, and I'm going to tell it to create a desktop uh, for client. Click Next. Finish the install. And here's my icon for the uh, program. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Say yes. Okay, and the registration window pops up. So this is a uh, registration uh, for the software itself. If you set this up and you enable the auto login, then once you set up the app on that computer, you'll never have to password into the program again. Uh, this is okay, providing it does require a username and password to log into your computer to start using it in the first place. So I do allow the auto uh, login. And I'm going to Make a super username of admin, A-D-M-I-N. No wrong answer here. You just have to remember what you're putting in. And then I use the same password as I do on my DVR. So it makes it easier to remember. Registering. It is a large program, does take a while to install, so do not be impatient with it. On some PCs, I've seen this take five or six minutes. Okay. Okay, now that we're here, you can go ahead and add your first device. If you've got a DVR set up on the network, it should be uh, showing up here. If not, either way, we're just going to manually add it. To add in the next device or your first device, make sure that uh, your tab here is set for device and not group. If I click on group, 
the screen's going to look a little bit different than when I click on device. We're adding a device such as a DVR, NVR, or IP camera. To do so, I'm going to click on add. Nickname is or alias, depending on uh, when you're on a phone, the program will say uh, what is the alias you want to call it. On the uh, software, it's asking for a nickname, but this is just the name of the DVR. You want to call it no wrong answer here. I'm going to just put it in as my DVR. The address, you can set this up with a IP address locally on your local network, a wide area network, if it's in a remote location or a DDNS server. I'm going to use my DDNS server. Port is 8000, that is the default, unless it's on a different port than that. Leave that as 8000. Your username, typically admin, ADMIN, all lowercase, and then the password for the DVR you have set. If it's the standard default we've programmed, we have that information on file. Then I'm going to leave the check mark in the box for export to group, and I'm going to click on add. If I do that, and everything's set properly. This should go from net status uh, to a green globe. I get the processing and importing succeeded. And now I am ready to go and look at that DVR on my uh, control panel. Uh, so I go over here to uh, control panel and I'm going to click on main view. And here I come up with my multiplex screen. Here's my uh, one DVR that's listed, I called it BART, there it is. So if I had multiple locations, I could have my BART DVR, I could have my Jim DVR, and I could have my Fred DVR, whatever they're named, and uh, then I can pick what cameras I want to see on this screen. I can see multiple cameras from multiple DVRs at various locations, all on one screen at the same time using this software, just by dragging cameras from each DVR onto the screen. So I'm going to expand this out to show all the cameras here. And if I want to pull up camera number one and throw it into this box, I can do that. Uh, camera two over here. Uh, camera six down here. And camera nine right here. Uh, so you can drag those over. Or the other way people do it is if I'm just going to see all the cameras on there, I could take the whole folder. And I'm going to drag that into the very first box. And that will populate all of the cameras that are on that DVR onto the multiplex. Here we've got 14 of 16 cameras uh, on there. Also manipulating the screen, very simple. If I want to have uh, this camera fill in this box over here, I just drag it over here and uh, gives me room for my next set of pictures uh, for another DVR if I want to load that up. Uh, that's about it. Uh, installing and setting up the NVMS 7000 on a PC or Mac. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the uh, videos so you get uh, updates on all our latest releases. Have a great day.